Hello and welcome to another SHF upgrade review. Here are some accessory parts sold by them to add to your figures. On the left hand side I bought the uh, Hibiki set, the Rekka Sword Plus Oge Kipu. <laughs> Uh, little drumstick things. Uh, the sword itself, that's just a big flame added on top of his little drumstick uh, for the uh, red hibiki, whereas the other three pieces, uh, this one's for DN, Ibuki, and Todoroki when they all did the drum thing in the uh, one of the DK episodes, I guess. So, and we have a sting part here for Hoori from Kamara Zero One. So, let's just go with the sting first because it's pretty basic. It is literally just a piece of wire with all these little beads hooked onto it. Now the wire itself is pretty good. It rotates pretty nicely and bends quite nicely. I did notice that these beads sometimes can have a gap between them. Uh, so what you have to do is just hold the end of it and just push it down so it doesn't have that. So, but otherwise it seems to be fine. And the overall wire does move okay. This will probably fit one of your scorpion Mortal Kombat figures as well, but uh, and there's a sting on the end. But um, uh, for the price, it's okay, I guess. But if you go out and buy some beads yourself, maybe you can do it yourself with a wire, maybe, and it'll definitely be much cheaper. So you can consider doing that. But for something that's just pre made, it, uh, yeah, it seems okay, springy. <laughs> so, over to the side. Now, this one I think is much more worth the value. Like, some of the SHF for Crystal is pretty expensive. I know it's a small production, but still, some things do feel a bit too expensive. Uh, you really, I can really only recommend it if you really, really like that particular figure. But for this set, I think it's, the price is actually pretty okay because amount of different painted details, painted layers as well. I mean, yeah, all of these drumstick parts are the same mold, but you know, you get a lot of them, so that's, that's cool. Uh, here's an official one. So if we just compare the official stick to uh, one of theirs, and you look at the colouring and stuff. Oh, it's much more of a silver lining on theirs. Uh, silver's much brighter. There's no wash on this actually, so mm, minus points. This one's black, but that one's silver. Not sure what's going on there. And uh, the handle, uh, the logo on there is that's it. okay too. Transparent is pretty good. Uh, not the most soft plastic. This one doesn't pull off, so yeah, just like that. I mean, it looks okay. Gets the job done. Moving over to this blue one for DN. Does have a little demon face on it, and the molding on that is pretty good. And the coloring is also pretty good. Again, just uh, no wash on this. And we got a uh, darker blue color for Ibuki and a dark green color for Todoroki. So all these look decent enough. But the Ibuki and Todoroki also come with a very small disc here, which uh, is the same mold as the one you get with the Ibuki figure, so you can swap this out with that belt if you really want to. Um, but I think this is just more of a pop from when they uh, place this on top of the monster before they start doing the drumming thing. So, so all in all, uh, I like the Ibuki set a lot. Uh, it, it's it seems decent for value, especially for something as a custom thing. This chain thing, if you have any sort of own customizing skill, you're probably better off making your own. So yeah, subscribe to the comment below because take and have a nice day. Bye.